Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, we're going to dive into the scanners of the trading platform we use. Let's jump right to it. We basically have two major scanners. The first one is a very classic one. You can find it obviously everywhere. I'm um, talking about the gainers and the loser list. And what we did here is created a pre setup so you can use that pretty easily. So for example, volume price is above half a million and price of a stock is up to uh, dollars volume is up more than one uh, million and price below 10 so we played with that you can use that the automatic um, scanners that we already did and here you can easily scan through them gainers losers if you click the mouse key on one of the columns you can add also volume for example for each one of them individually. So that will be super easy to use on pre-market and of course, uh, during regular trading hours. One more thing that we have is the high and low list. So every time a stock will create a new low or create a new uh, lower low, basically, you will have it here. So you can see the lows and the highs. One click here and you will basically have also the change Again, the volume, you can play with it, depends on what you do in your trading. You can use those two windows pretty easily. Of course, if you're a scalper, you might want to use the highs and lows because then you will get the stock that is now popping and you might have an opportunity to jump in and take that momentum trade. Or if you want to prepare yourself more, you will go to the uh, scanner that will show you the gainers and the losers. And on pre-market, for example, then you will start building the scenarios in the, and analyze the stock and only then find the setup that you want to trade in. So that's it. Pretty simple. Of course, play with those. And like always, if you mark the color that you want and it related to the chart, for example, if I take the yellow and I also um, mark it on the chart as yellow, then each click will be uh, will change the chart so right now i'm clicking on the scanner um the highs and lows and every time i click it it changed the chart pretty easily and that's super easy and intuitive of course that's it guys best of luck we'll see you next time